to get set up really fast. All right, so today we got Delilah Muhammad uh, with a time of 52.42, placed second in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Um, first, or I'll be asking questions on behalf of the media. Um, first up, could you just explain your race today or walk us through your race today? Yeah, I just want to get out the first two hurdles, set the race up and just see what I had to come home. Um, this was one of those races, you just kind of let it go and kind of see what happens. So yeah, that's all I had in store today. Right. So we got a question from Eric Bull at dicedot.com. Uh, he asked, uh, Delilah, considering all that has happened this year with the, the injuries and your COVID scare, how encouraging is it for you to run 52-42 and be able to build off that heading into Tokyo? You know, it is actually very encouraging. You know, when things like that, and setbacks happen to you, you don't really know what's in store. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I kind of, the 200 is distracting me. Okay, let's go. Yeah, but yeah, when things like that happen, you don't really know um, how the season's going to go. So it's very encouraging to come back and run 52-4, started this season 55. And I just remember having conversations with my coach, like, are you sure we're going to get there? And he just kind of kept assuring me, like, yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to come back. And like almost for like a month straight, I just kept asking him <laughs> every day at practice, are you sure? Are you sure? And you know, so I'm extremely grateful to be here today and um, so, so thankful that those um, setbacks are behind me. All right. I'm just going to remind everyone, uh, feel free to leave your questions in the chat. Um, that way I can know what you want to know. Uh, so I've got a question from Alex Aziz. Uh, during your pre-meet press conference, you talked about Sydney being the future of the event. I'm curious if you saw her world record coming or were you surprised? Oh, I definitely saw it coming. Uh, she had a She looked so good during the rounds. Um, it was definitely just a matter of time. Um, definitely knew she was capable of it. Um, so yeah, absolutely saw it coming. All right, another question from Eric Bull. Uh, how reassuring has Coach Johnson been for you this year, especially considering all those setbacks? Uh, he's definitely been my rock. So <laughs> I think, you know, he's been so encouraging me and I just definitely had to rely on him this entire year. And just for that reassurance, it was, one of my most challenging years and just not feeling confident as an athlete, just not confident running wise um, and just really putting all my trust in him. And so, yeah, he's definitely been my major rock this year. All right. We got a question from Pat Graham of the Associated Press. Uh, how fun is it that anytime you step out there, a world record is possible given the competition? <laughs> Um, it definitely makes it exciting for the fans. It makes it nerve wracking for me, but, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's definitely fun to, to be part of history and to be part of, you know, changing the women's 400 meter hurdle. So I definitely think more is in store for me. And I definitely think um, Tokyo will be a good race. You said it was nerve wracking. Could you explain a little bit about how you overcome those uh, feelings? You know, I just dive into them. I think nerves, if you can use it as good energy and good positive energy, um, amazing things can happen. So for me, when, it, when I feel any type of nerves or anything, I just dive right into it and just use that, that energy as motivation and as just fuel. All right. Um, so from Eric Bull, uh, how proud of you? Oh, sorry. How proud are you of Anna Cockrell, especially as a fellow USC graduate? I mean, I'm super proud of Anna. You know, I think, you know, that's just kind of, I'm kind of feeling the, the Trojan spirit. I think, you know, SC has produced so many Olympians every year. Um, well, every Olympic year, we just have, you know, so many people on the team. I remember, I think it was 2016, they said, if, you know, if you added up all the USC medalists, we would have took fourth, you know, in the ranking as a country. So super proud of Anna. She's had such an amazing year, just winning in season, both those races. So I'm super proud to be part of the US team with her. I think we have an amazing three girls, go three girls going. And what's next for you between now and Tokyo? What are your plans? How are you going to perform the best? Um, I'm going to race again. I think I'm going to do Stockholm, Budapest, um, and then just kind of back to the drawing board, get home and just, you know, sharpen the tools for Tokyo. Uh, do we have any more questions? Uh, 
I was looking for you. I was, <laughs> thanks guys. <laughs> um, I'm about to come out. So we're about to come out after this. Yeah, I'll call you. I'm about to, I hope I'm not yelling anybody's ear. I'm about to come out after this. I'll call you. I'll text you. It's not looking like there's any more questions. So we're good to oh. go. Thanks for talking with us today. Thanks guys.